If you want to see me make these delicious New York City push cart style hot dogs with homemade sauerkraut and homemade onion sauce, watch this video. Hello and welcome to Ben's Ramblings, recipes, reviews, and ramblings. Today we're getting ready for a collaboration with a bunch of other YouTubers. It's hashtag bring on summer 2021 and we're making hot dogs. So to get ready for those hot dogs a few days in advance, we're gonna make some homemade sauerkraut. It's super simple. If you've never had fresh homemade sauerkraut before, you have to try it. That canned stuff, jarred stuff, I've tried it before. I did not like it at all. I went to a German restaurant with some friends. They had homemade sauerkraut. It was unbelievable. You have to try this. It is so simple. Let's get started. We've got a head of green cabbage and kosher salt. Those are our two ingredients. Very, very easy. So first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna core our cabbage. We're just gonna cut it down the middle like this. And again like this in quarters. And the reason we're cutting right down the middle is so that we can easily cut these quarters out just like this. So that's it. Those stems come right out and that goes right in the garbage. We need to weigh our cabbage. We're gonna use a 2% salt solution for our brine. And the liquid is gonna come from the cabbage itself. I'm gonna put all this cabbage in here. Okay. The cabbage is 1,402 grams and we want 2% salt. So it's gonna be 28 grams of salt. Now, you could chop the cabbage by hand, but I like my cabbage really finely sliced. So I'm gonna use a mandolin, just like this. Um, this is an OXO mandolin, I'll have a link down below. The thing with mandolins, it's very important you have a nice sturdy base. Always use your guard. If you don't have a guard and you're worried about your hands, or if you do have a guard and worried about your hands, you can use a mesh glove that is cut resistant. I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. Um, to get started, I don't like using the guard, so I'll start without that, and then we'll switch to the guard. Really simple, just going across. I've got this set to an eighth of an inch thickness right now. Let you see how that looks. Again, I like it pretty fine. I don't like it chunky when I'm gonna use it on a hot dog. If you're serving this as a side dish or something like that, a little chunkier is fine. Um, now since it's a little smaller, I'm gonna put my guard on and you just press down on this and get to it. And the end normally is a little chunkier, that's fine, we'll just throw it in there. All right. Let's watch the rest and fast forward. I actually ended up throwing out some of the cabbage, or not throwing it out, but I'm not putting it in here. Uh, there just isn't enough space. I reweighed the cabbage and there's 1200 grams of cabbage now. So we'll use 24 grams of salt. So the great thing about this scale, the scale also linked down below, um, is it has a scale that is for heavier weights like the cabbage and a scale that we can use for lightweight like we're gonna use for the salt. So I set it to zero with this bowl on it and I'm just using kosher salt. We're gonna put 28, 24 grams rather. All right, we're a little over 24 grams, that's fine. And we're gonna slowly layer the salt into the cabbage. So we'll do this. And try to spread it around. And mix it all through. Ideally, I'd have a bigger bowl. I unfortunately, my big, big bowl is being used for something else right now. So, I'm gonna have to make do. Right, I'll 
salt is all mixed in, we're now gonna start crushing the cabbage with our hands. We want it to really break down. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna let it sit like this for 15, 20 minutes, uh, maybe a half hour. We'll come back to it and we'll do this again. You'll see it's gonna let off a bunch of liquid and we'll do this a few times, maybe two or three times uh, over an hour, hour and a half. So once it's done with that, then we'll pack it into this mason jar I have ready and it will be all set to go and sit for a few days. We're gonna let it go um, probably about five days. You could let it go longer. The longer you let it go, the more of a funk it gets to it, more sour it gets. Um, I like it a little more on the green side, a little more on the fresh side. Um, I like the crunch, it's a little crunchier. Uh, so we'll let go. And I'll see you back here in about 15 minutes. We'll just let this sit. It's been 20 minutes. We're gonna crush up and toss the cabbage a little more. You'll see there's a lot of liquid that's come out. Uh, you can see it's already breaking down. It is much more wet than it was 20 minutes ago. I just wanna toss it all. Make sure we get that salt mixed all through. We wanna crush it up with our hands just so you can see a little better. So there's the cabbage. You can see the liquid coming out of there. And it's only gonna increase as it sits here. All right, we'll check back in 20 more minutes. All right, it's been an hour. You can see, here I'll use a spoon. You can see there's a bunch of liquid here at the bottom. The cabbage has been resting an hour now. We've crushed it all up. We're gonna take it and we're gonna place it in this mason jar. It's a one quart mason jar. Oh, I don't all, right. Get with all right, help me put the, right. the cabbage in the mason jar. Okay. That's the, that's the jar. Yeah, uh, all right, all right. I'll do it, I'll okay, do it. Okay, you do it. Do it over here so that we don't get it all over. That's it, just like that. Put it in there. Good job. You gotta fill it all up. That's it. Good job. Okay. Can Daddy do some? Mm -hmm. Okay. That's a big one. Yeah. So we want to pack this in as well as we can. Okay. Okay, help me. Hey, don't put your fingers in there. I want to leave a little room for a few reasons. Um, the yes. cabbage is going to let off additional liquid. It's also going to let off additional gas. So you don't want to seal this lid tightly because you could actually make the glass explode. So we're going to put it in here. I'm going to press it down as much as possible and use this spoon. Really want to crush it down. And we want the liquid above the cabbage. All right, easy, easy, easy. We want the liquid above the cabbage. So, we'll see, we can put a little more Where in there. there's bubbles? Well, there's gonna be a lot more bubbles. We'll see tomorrow. Okay, I don't think we're gonna fit this all. Wait, wait, not yet, not yet. I don't think we're gonna fit this all in here. But what I am gonna do. What are you gonna do? We're gonna drain and pour all this liquid in there. Okay, oh. all right, so hold on. Nope, not yet, not yet. Daddy's gonna pour all the liquid in. Watch out, take that off there. Take that off. Okay, so we're gonna pour all this liquid in here. Okay. And even that might be a little too much. I'll have to see. Because we want the cabbage to always be under the liquid or it could get moldy, what we're gonna do is I'm actually gonna pull a little more cabbage out. It's a little too much in there. Okay, and then I'm gonna take a four ounce jelly jar. And I'm gonna put it right up, oh boy, okay, hold on. I'm gonna take this four ounce jelly jar, I'm gonna put it right on top, it's still too much. All right, Dad's gonna take out some more cabbage, hold on. Take him out. 
Push this all down. Okay. So we've got this four ounce jelly jar and it's gonna fit perfectly in there. And if you can see, it's gonna keep all the cabbage pushed down and under the liquid. So now I'll put this lid on loosely. I'll do it. I'll okay, it goes like this. Loosely. Okay, now just turn it on a little bit. Okay, screw it on just a little bit. Okay, just like that. Okay, so it's not even tight. It's just there. The jelly jar is keeping the cabbage. The jelly jar is keeping the cabbage pressed down under the liquid. We're gonna put a label on this so that we know when we did it. This is basic fermentation, basic pickling. Um, anytime you're doing anything like this, you wanna make sure you put a label on it with a date. Uh, we're gonna let it ferment for about five days before we try it. Um, and it should be pretty good then. Again, it will get funkier and funkier the longer you let it sit. After about two weeks, you really wanna put it somewhere that is less than 50 degrees Fahrenheit uh, or in your refrigerator. So if you have a, a cellar that you can put it in, or right, you wanna put the label on here. So we've got our label. Sauerkraut, March 11th. And we're just gonna put it right on the jar. Here, you wanna put it on for me? Okay. All right, great. So, there we go. And I'll see you in about five days and we'll make those hot dogs. I'm making traditional New York style push cart hot dogs. Um, some skin, uh, natural casing franks from Sabre, homemade sauerkraut, some homemade onion sauce, and some steamed buns. A little bit of mustard, simple. This is in Chicago, we don't have sport peppers, neon green relish. This is a good old fashioned New York push cart style hot dog. I've got the water on, we're gonna get that up to temperature. We'll throw the hot dogs in that. We are not gonna cook the hot dogs on the griddle today. Um, a New York style hot dog is a boiled or steamed hot dog. So that's what we're gonna do. Uh, we'll get started on the onion sauce. This is some of the sauerkraut, which I made. Uh, I made this about a week ago and uh, it's perfect. It's, it's just got the right uh, funk to it that I like. It's not overly done like some of the bagged or canned sauerkrauts are. So let's get started. I'm gonna put a little oil on. And we're gonna start our onion sauce. So, a little bit of onion and we will get our onions on. Once these cook a little bit, we'll pull them apart. If you've ever been to New York City and seen the hot dogs, uh, they have a reddish onion sauce. You can buy it in some supermarkets. It's again, Sabre brand. I'll put a picture of it up here. Um, this is again a real traditional New York City style uh, condiment for hot dogs. So we're gonna brown up these onions a little bit and then we're gonna add some spices, some ketchup, uh, a little bit of water and we'll turn them into kind of a onion sauce. I'm gonna turn this heat down. The two burners in the middle are on high to get that water to boil. my pan in the hottest part of the griddle, right in the middle. At least that's how mine runs. Anyway, I am going to cover these for a minute with a little bit of steam and get them going. Okay, the onions are getting soft. We're gonna start mixing them with the spices and the ketchup. Um, I am going to throw the hot dogs in the water. It is almost at a boil. It's really cold today. This may be a little difficult out here, uh, but it'll be good enough. So I've got two Sabre hot dogs. 
and we're just going to throw them into the water. Um, these are dirty water dogs. If you were to go in New York City, everybody knows them as dirty water dogs, dish water dogs. Uh, this is what they are. We'll get those two going. We've got our onions now, which are cooked down. You can see they're all nice and soft. Now, I think I'm going to chop these up a little bit. Okay, break them up a little more. I have my spices here. Um, it's very small amounts. This is one large onion. We've got, a, it's a half a teaspoon of brown sugar, some chili powder, some cinnamon. We're gonna add ketchup, hot sauce, and a little water. I've got all of the, I've got all of the ingredients in the description down below. So, put these all together. So I wanna sprinkle this all right on top. Okay. I'm going to add a splash of hot sauce, just get some Cholula hot sauce here. And we're going to add about two tablespoons, two and a half tablespoons of ketchup. Okay. We'll start tossing this all together. Again, I've got this left burner on low. I'm going to add a little bit of water. We'll keep tossing it so it doesn't burn. Um, and we'll add a little bit more water at the end uh, before we throw it on the hot dogs, just to loosen it up a little bit. Let those hot dogs go a little longer. Um, I'm going to take a little bit of sauerkraut and get that warming up on the grill. Just enough for two dogs. And I've got two hot dog rolls. I'm gonna steam those right over the hot dogs. So put them right there on a little rack, throw my steam dome over, they'll steam right up. All right, let's put things together. We've got our hot dogs and our steamed buns. I'm gonna take a little mustard and run it down either side. All right, so we've got that mustard down either side. Next, we're gonna to top each with some sauerkraut. And again, if you've never tried fresh sauerkraut, give it a try. The beginning of this video, that sauerkraut, super easy. Cabbage, salt, that's it. Put it in a jar, give it a shot. Next, we're gonna do the onions. Okay, we've got our red onions. Put those right on top. And the second one. That one could use a little more onions. All right. So we've got our red onions. We've got our sauerkraut. Not our red onions, but our red sauced onions. Our sauerkraut. We've got our red sauced onions, our sauerkraut, and we're gonna drizzle with a little bit more mustard. I'm gonna drizzle with a little more mustard. All right, guys, don't these look fantastic? If you think they do, give me a thumbs up. Let's give them a shot.
Oh my God. The steamed bun, that natural casing hot dog with the crispy snap, the homemade sauerkraut with that perfect level of sour um, and still has some crunch because it's still fresh. The onion sauce and the mustard, perfect combination. I gotta take another bite. All right, guys, again, this is a collab with a bunch of other YouTubers. Bring on summer 2021. Check that hashtag down below. I've got the recipe for the onions down below and the sauerkraut if you watch the beginning of this video. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and ring that bell to be notified of all the other videos that I make. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.